Hello, firstly, thank you to the organisers for this important and exciting platform that enables us to share ideas. I'd like to start by very briefly presenting my typographic practice as this forms the foundations for my strategies in learning and teaching for the undergraduate programme in graphic communication and MA visual communication at Birmingham City University in the UK. Letterpress printing and hand type setting are primary methods of my practice, as well as other traditional graphic design techniques, such as rub down type, cut and paste, assemblage and screen printing. I completed a three year apprenticeship in typesetting and letterpress printing, and I have had the opportunity to work with many great teachers, such as Thomas Grevemacher at Letterpress Amsterdam. And this is an important element of my practice as these approaches are shared with students at the university. The analogue methods are used in experimental typographic approaches for freelance design work, exhibitions and PhD design practice. I discovered that Anthony Froshard established the Experimental Printing Workshop with Alan Kitchen at Watford College of Art and Design in 1964 and at the time of finding this out I found a gap in my teaching and this is where the idea for Print Club first arrived. I wanted to create a space for play, experimentation, collaboration, exploring alternative possibilities to stimulate discussion and debate through process. Print Club at BCU is an extracurricular place where assessment criteria does not dictate practice approaches, a place to work independently from studies, or in fact to support current project work if applicable. And like Froshard and Kitchen, I wanted to celebrate the achievements of working with students by placing them at the centre of learning and practice. And my creative practice identifies projects that can contrib contribute to learning and teaching. I invite students to work with me to fulfil an industry brief and then present the outcomes as a joint initiative. A recent example of this is a live project with Slanted Publishers and I developed this with a second year undergraduate graphics student and here we see rub down type and processing techniques. A theme is set by the directors and we invite internal and external partners to set a theme um, to bring new ideas to the club and this, these themes are open and enable discussion around current topics, a way for experimental practices to initiate debate and ways of communicating messages. And I think this creates a valuable interplay of process, encouraging dialogue between traditional craft and new technologies, perhaps experimenting with hybrid processes to invite the generation of several solutions or theoretical direction. And this example shows collage techniques and risograph printing processes. Um, I decided to invite students to co-direct with me and that remains very important to me um, as part of Print Club. The work is exhibited in the department, in gallery spaces and social media platforms after every session and is enjoyed by colleagues in industry and other institutions and we now enjoy collaborative and high profile opportunities. Recently in times of remote working as so many of us have found digital methods and platforms have enabled collaborative projects and we have been able to facilitate projects with students and colleagues across the UK and Europe. This is an example of where analogue and digital processes are enabling collaborative and high profile situations. And this is an example of an open collab project designed by Patrick Thomas. I'd like to end, end this presentation with a thought that can reflect learning and teaching at this time. In analogue and digital spaces, we are universal. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful experimental print and typographic adventure.